Hi, I'm Captain David DeMarco, and you're watching Hot Topics from the Belmont Fire Department. Today with me, as always, is Chief DeStefano. Hi, Chief. Hi, Captain. How are you doing? Good, thank you. With the holidays coming up, we're going to give you some important tips about kitchen safety and fire prevention. So stay tuned for that. But first, here's Chief David DeStefano with the latest news from the Belmont Fire Department. Chief? Thanks, Captain DeMarco. In October, the Belmont Fire Department conducted several training exercises. All department members were trained in advanced fire pump operations by instructors from our fire apparatus dealer. We also sponsored the mobile fire training maze from the Massachusetts Department of Fire Services. This allowed our firefighters to practice search and rescue techniques in an unfamiliar setting, similar to conditions during a structure fire. Firefighters worked with thermal imaging technology and victim rescue techniques. In the area of public education, the EMS bike unit and I went to the Beach Street Center and discussed the benefits of early EMS intervention with the bike unit at public events. We held our first open house at headquarters since the pandemic. This open house also featured an auto extrication demonstration, fire truck and ambulance tours, and youngsters had a chance to use a real fire hose. Also in October, we met many residents at the Touch a Truck event in Belmont Center. Uh, special thanks to Frank French and Bobby Reardon for their invitation to the event. During Fire Prevention Week, I read books to children about firefighters at the Belmont Public Library, and members of Ladder Company One gave the kids an up-close look at the ladder truck and its equipment. The Belmont Fire Department has begun to actively study community risk so that we can provide timely public education and raise overall, overall public awareness where needed. It also helps us to efficiently prioritize equipment and resources. In future episodes of Hot Topics, we'll focus on some of these programs in more detail. Today, the Belmont Fire Department is announcing the introduction of car seat inspection and installation service. Given that car seats reduce the risk of fatal injury by 71% among infants and 54% among toddlers, it's crucial that folks know how to use car seats properly. We have a lieutenant who is a child passenger safety technician and who will be conducting the inspections and installations every Thursday from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. here at Trapello Road headquarters. If you're interested, please email carseatinstallation at belmont-ma.gov to request an appointment. Because we have only one certified technician available who also has other duties, please contact us by email and not by phone. That's all the news from the Belmont Fire Department for now. Captain? Thank you, Chief. Did you know that Thanksgiving is the peak day for home cooking fires, with more than three times the daily average of such incidents? That's why we want to take a little time and show you some tips for cooking safely during the holidays. First, let's take a look at the following two public service announcements from the National Fire Protection Association. Watch and learn. Cooking brings family and friends together, provides an outlet for creativity, and can even be relaxing. But did you know that cooking fires are the number one cause of home fires and home injuries? By following a few simple safety tips, you can prevent these fires. Never leave the kitchen when you are frying, grilling, or broiling food. If you do have to leave, even for a short time, turn off the stove. Keep anything that can catch fire, oven mitts, wooden utensils, food packaging, towels, or curtains away from your stovetop. And if you do have a cooking fire, just get out. You can call 911 after you leave the house. You can find out more about cooking safety and other safety tip sheets on the NFPA website. Just go to nfpa.org slash safety tips. Excuse me, Dan, but you should be alert when you are cooking and keep anything that can catch fire away from the stovetop. Good job, Dan. It's second and ten at the 42nd yard line. Kettleman takes the snap, he passes it to Kuzinski, and it looks like Kuzinski is going to go all the way. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, oh, and he's tackled at the five yard line. We have time for a quick commercial break, and we're back. Yeah. Always stay in the kitchen when you're frying, grilling, or broiling food. Mm. And coming around the final turn, it's That's great, Dan. Now stay safe.
Life isn't a cartoon. Cooking is the leading cause of home fires. Don't be a doofus. Learn more about preventing home fires at nfpa.org. Okay, let's review the four main tips from the video. Never leave the kitchen when frying, grilling or broiling food. If you do have to leave the kitchen, turn off the stove top. Keep anything that could catch on fire away from your stove top. And if there is a fire in your home, get out and call 911 from a safe location. Now, just in time for Thanksgiving and the holidays, let's watch another PSA about the dangers of turkey fryers and what not to do. As you can see from the video, the firefighters are using water on a grease fire and you can see that it's making the fire worse, teaching you what not to do. Do not use water on a grease fire. For more tips on cooking safety, please go to the website. And on behalf of the Belmont Fire Department, have a safe and savory Thanksgiving. Well, that's it for Hot Topics. I'm Captain David DeMarco. And I'm Chief David DiStefano. See you next time for more Hot Topics. <laughs>